At the beginning, they are funny. After that, even funnier. But then they start to become annoying. They are called hiccups and they are the weird sounds that come out of your mouths unexpectedly. But what actually is a hiccup? And what are the different ways to stop it? Hiccups originate from the diaphragm, the muscle between your lungs and your stomach. The diaphragm most of the time works perfectly, pulling downward when you inhale to help air enter your lungs and relaxing when you exhale to flow air out. Unfortunately, the diaphragm sometimes becomes irritated, pulling down in a jerky way, and thus forcing you to suck air suddenly into your throat. The air then hits your voice box, forcing your vocal cords to close, making the famous hick sound. But why do hiccups happen? And what are the things that irritate your diaphragm? Physical and emotional reasons can both play a role in the hiccup phenomenon. That's because the irritation happens in the nerve that connects the brain to the diaphragm. Not to mention other reasons such as eating a lot or quickly, nervousness, drinking carbonated beverages or alcohol, change in temperature, and swallowing air. Hiccups may also be spelled in a different way and are medically known as SDF. They can occur without any prior notice and without any apparent reason. So, it is very common to get a round of hiccups every now and then. Mainly, hiccups resolve after some few minutes, without any treatment, after occurring individually or in bouts. Researchers in the field of medicine have found out that somewhere in the brain, we have a central pattern generator for hiccups, which means that we have neuronal circuits designed primarily for generating hiccups, just like the generations of other acts, like breathing, coughing, and walking. And like most of those CPGs, it's an oscillator, sending out periodic signals to set off a hiccup. We don't encounter hiccups all of the time, so the oscillator must be a conditional one that fires only under certain conditions. Hiccups occur probably in every human being, be it adults and kids, but this act affects males more often than females. They may last from minutes to a few hours, but what if they last longer? Hiccups lasting more than 48 hours are said to be persistent hiccups, and those lasting more than a month are said to be intractable hiccups. While very rare, intractable hiccups can cause exhaustion, weight loss, lack of sleep, and serious problems. Now to the most important part, how to stop them. If you are encountering short bouts of hiccups, then you can try holding your breath for a few seconds, breathing through a paper bag, drinking cold water, putting some sugar or honey under your tongue, and maybe the most famous treatment, having someone jump out and scare you when you're not expecting it. All of these suggestions can help you wave goodbye to your short bouts of hiccups. However, if you come across persistent hiccups, then the only solution is for you to seek medication as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video on our Key Science channel. If you have any questions, please leave it out in the comments below. And make sure to watch more of our interesting videos covering a wide range of interesting topics. And subscribe! for more key science videos.